Aisha here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. Huge shout out to my day ones, my foundation subscribers. All of my new subscribers, thank you. You are appreciated. And if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, subscribe. Okay, so this is just a general energy check-in. It's not going to resonate with all of you. You could check your sun or moon rising or your sign in Venus or your natal chart and that will help you to connect the dots. There is a possibility that this is just not your reading today. That is okay. It either resonates or it doesn't resonate. Please do not try to force the shoe to fit. It will only confuse you. You can always book me for a personal reading and we can get clarity on your own unique situation. The information for that is in my description box. Okay, Libra. So this is the second attempt that um, I'm doing your reading because I tried to do your reading two days ago. And uh, when I played it back, I kept saying Gemini, but I knew it was a Libra reading. So I, I introduced the reading as Libra and then I just kept saying Gemini. So some of you may be dealing with a Gemini. Mm -hmm. uh, because we have here, all tied up, Two of Cups, Nine of Wands in Reverse, and Ten of Wands. So... Some of you are dealing with the Gemini. It looks like, okay, so for some of you, this is currently what's going on. And for some of you, this is uh, a past situation. It has already happened. Spirit said for some of you, this is what's going to be happening. Mm -hmm. So energy is fluid. My readings are timeless. You just apply it where it goes. So it looks like you are... Some of you are feeling stuck in a situation. You may be feeling trapped. I do feel like it's, um, okay, so it's twofold. Some of you are in a situation with someone where uh, you may have a house together or some kind of financial obligation, maybe children, but you're feeling kind of stuck. It's like you've taken on too much burden, mm -hmm. taken on a lot of pressure, a lot of responsibility. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it, it was because you wanted to meet uh, a goal. You had an intention. You had a dream with someone. So it looks like you are dealing with a, a soulmate. Mm -hmm. Some of you are married to this person. Or you were married to this person. Because I do feel like there's a stalemate. You're not speaking to this person, or you could be in separation. Mm -hmm. And some of you left this person because they were making you feel stuck in life. You felt like they were holding you back. Mm -hmm. This person brought a lot of obstacles. You know what I kept picking up? It was in your last reading as well. It's like you, every time you kept trying with someone, you kept getting the same thing. So it's, it's, it didn't matter what you did. It didn't matter how many times you tried to approach the problem from a different angle or, or look at it from a different perspective. It's, it's just, it was the same thing over and over again with this person. For some of you, this caused health issues. I feel like uh, you may have been experiencing a lot of anxiety, um, mental health issues as in uh, depression. Mm-hmm. Someone, someone has an ulcer. Yeah, and it's because of the situation with this person. It's uh, the stress. It's too much. Or it was too much. So it started to manifest in your body uh, physically. You could have been hiding it for a while, but then you eventually got to a point where you could not. You couldn't pretend that it wasn't happening. I feel too, Libra, that some of you, you were trying to put on this front that everything in your relationship was good. Mm-hmm. Everything in your foundation with your family was good, but it really wasn't. And you just got to this point where you couldn't hide it anymore. Mm -hmm. It's like things were bursting at the seams. Yeah. But Libra, don't shoot the messenger. I just read the cards. And this looks like it kept happening because you weren't learning something. 
I feel for uh, there's a group of you in this collective that you have learned. You you got it. You got it good. Mm -hmm. You learned your lesson from this. But some of you, you are still in this situation with this person, and it's because you are uh, you are failing to call a spade a spade. You know, and it's just when you see that something is not uh, going the way you want, or going in the direction that you want, or progressing, when it just seems it keeps being the same thing. First off, that's dead ass evidence that you are in a karmic cycle with someone and you are dealing with a karmic partner, karmic soulmate, karmic friend, karmic family member. Yes. When the same situation, because this person is supposed to teach you something so that you can move to the next level of your journey. Mm -hmm. And some of you, you just, you kept staying in the same grade with somebody trying to make things work when you should have just been like, okay, thank you. Learned everything that I needed to learn. Deuces deuces mm -hmm. and move on to another soulmate that's going to meet you where you are on your journey some of you stayed with somebody and it's because you weren't learning your lessons you weren't using your wisdom uh, someone was tricked into like making some kind of uh, large financial purchase uh, could have been a home, a car. Somebody co-signed on someone's car and now you're feeling trapped. Like this person, they're not trying to work with you. So you kind of, I feel like someone's trying to tiptoe around somebody because they don't want to upset someone or someone co-signed on a car for you, Libra. And now they're kind of abusing their power with you. Like any little thing that you do, you got to watch what you say. You got to watch what you do with this person because they're always holding it over your head, you know, that they will take your car or they will take something from you, a value that they helped you to get. Mm -hmm. And it's making you feel trapped. It's making you feel miserable, Libra. Some of you, you are depressed. Okay. And you, you regret getting into anything with this person. But... Libra, this relationship with this energy that you're dealing with was a disaster. A lot of delays, a lot of stagnation, and a lot of problems, right? Pressure. I just feel someone who has, a, you have a lot of financial responsibility on your shoulders. And it's th this person that you were with or that you're currently with, they're not really helping you the way how they should be helping you. Some of you, you're being breadcrumbed. This person is doing the bare minimum. Mm -hmm. If they could get away with doing absolutely nothing at all, they would do it. Some of you had, uh, it's like a belief system and it's, it's old and outdated spirit said. Like if you're married to someone or if you have a child with someone, uh, there's certain roles that you have to play I just heard to the extreme, right? So instead of easing up and letting people take on the carry their own weight and take on their own responsibilities and be accountable for their own actions, Libra, some of you were picking up someone else's slack here. Mm -hmm. And because of that, you it was affecting your health. Stress was affecting your health. This caused a lot of obstacles. I feel like some of you may have missed opportunities with others. Or just, uh, this could have been business. There was someone who was supposed to get a condo and ended up getting a house with someone and you regret it. You regret it because you are paying out your ass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. I just heard some of you are paying for it with your ass. Mm-hmm. I keep hearing pimping. Somebody's pimping you, Libra. Mm -hmm. So they're just using, they are, they're benefiting from the work that you do. Libra, Libra, you can't have anybody out here tricking you. No, 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 no. It's 2021. You don't have time for that shit. You got serious things going on on this planet, right? We're in a mass awakening. It is time for you to wake up, my dear. You don't have time for this. You have other things to do. You have a better life to live. There is a feminine Libra in this collective. You have, 
you have four or five or up to six kids with somebody and this person ain't no good. They are lazy, they have no ambition, they are a cheater, they are a liar. And they've been stealing from you in some way. That could be your time, energy, effort, your body. Mm -hmm. There is also someone in this collective who uh, child support payments are not being paid or alimony. Uh, someone is threatening to not pay someone child support or alimony if they don't do what they say or some shit. Someone is withholding and it's making you feel trapped. It's making you feel like a prisoner. But it, it, this is in your head, Libra. Spirit wants you to know this is it. You have the power in the situation. Do not get it twisted. This person can only trick you and pimp you out if you let them. And it's just because you're not, you're not getting this lesson yet. I feel like this is a part of the lesson that you need to realize your own power and realize that you are empowered. It comes from within. Mm -hmm. Someone can't take away your happiness because it doesn't come from them. Mm -hmm. uh, Spirit just told me to tell someone in this collective to let go of the car. There will be a better way for you to get it or let go of some asset or something that you thought was an asset but really turned out to be a major liability because it's not just sucking your finances. It's sucking your life from you, your life force energy, which you need for everything. Spirit said to let it go, release it. It will come back in a better way. A way that is freeing for you. Libra, what is going on? Okay, so I pulled some guidance from Spirit. This is Whispers from Within Oracle cards. I love these decks. I love simple things. And we have here, this is meant to be, right? So, accept the feelings in your heart as truth in this situation, Libra. A lot of you, or some of you, for sure, you need to recognize that this is just not going to be what you want it to be and let it go. Mm -hmm. You will be fine. You're going to need to heal. You're going to be hurt. You're going to be butt hurt. But you will heal from this and you will be a lot better for it. Because Spirit wants you to know that you're in the right place at the right time. You're doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing when you're supposed to be doing it. So doors are going to open for you. Once you take that leap of faith and walk through them now, some of you Libras dead ass need to leave somebody. Take a leap of faith and leave somebody. Give up the car, give up the home, take a leap of faith and trust that the universe will guide you in the right direction and that what is happening to you, it's, it's happening for you, not to you because new opportunities will appear at the perfect time. I feel spirit wants to bless you Libras, but you need to let go of what you're holding on so tight to because you're viewing that as a blessing, but it's not. Not that way spirit said. It's a blessing in disguise. You letting go of the situation, then your real blessings come in. It's kind of like uh It's a, I just heard imposter, right? So on the outside it may appear to be a blessing, but once you really you take the top off of it, when you really look into it, you realize that that's not what you want. That's not what you signed up for. Mm -hmm. Spirit wants you to know that you are fully supported on your journey, Libra. Take that leap. If you need to leave somebody, then leave them. Trust that the universe has your back, right? It can't, I can't make this shit up, right? You, you are fully supported on your journey. I can't make this shit up. So what is happening in this situation, Libras, was meant to happen. This is a karmic cycle with someone. And you are keeping yourself stuck in it. I feel some of you, though, you really, you did trust the universe. You did start trusting yourself. And even though you weren't sure of what the future would hold, you just knew that what was going on in your present was not good for you. So you let it go. Some of you, your health is starting to improve once you got rid of some energy some around you. This relationship... You stop feeling all stressed out. Your stomach starts feeling better. Your back starts feeling better. Some of you, you're not feeling so tired anymore. Some of you are with an energy vampire. They were dead ass siphoning your energy mm -hmm. in any way, shape, or form. They were tricking your shit, mm -hmm. pimping you out for your own energy. And then they were getting the benefits. They were enjoying the benefits of it. But Spirit said no more of that now, Libras. It's time for you to learn this lesson and keep it moving. Yeah. 
it's okay to recognize and acknowledge that something's not working or that this person is not the right person for you anymore. This spirit wants some doors and I see them. The doors are there. They're there. They're opening. They're just waiting for you to come and open them all the way. They're waiting for you, Libra. Mm -hmm. So whatever, remember, whatever is happening, this is supposed to happen. This situation, as shitty as it is or it was, it was supposed to happen because you are supposed to learn something from this. This was a life lesson for you, Libra. Okay, well, this is what I have for you. If any of this resonates, smash that like button for me. If not, that's cool. Another time, click the notification button. So with that being said, Libras, you have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night. And I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.